Hello and welcome to the show. I am here on Forza Horizon 2 with another rally car build. My vehicle today is the Ford Ranger Rally Raid car. Now these are the sort of vehicles that should be the only cars really to ever survive the course that we drive around as the jumps and bumps are massive and these are really the only cars that should actually complete the course. However, they have never been particularly fast. The purpose-built kind of off-road racing cars have tended to struggle quite a lot at this course. The, the the Rally Raid Beetle wasn't particularly good. The the Mini Monster, the Stadium Truck, I didn't like at all. The Ram Runner was okay, but not massively fast. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be kind of interesting to see if this one is any better or or how indeed it fares. Now as far as upgrade wise go, well things are going to be a bit different for this car because well normally the rules are we have to have the off-road suspension, the off-road tyres and the off-road gearbox. Well I don't have any choices for them parts. It's four-wheel drive from standard, yes, so it's it's still sort of fair for the competition. But yeah, it, it comes with already all of the <laughs> all of the, the parts on it. I don't have a choice to change them at all. Uh, tire width wise we can get some big old tires on here. 305s on the front is pretty damn sizable. So yeah, we will we will take that. I'm guessing it's gonna be 305s all round. Okay. Um I mean I've always wants I always want some bigger and bigger tires. 305, same size that the Land Rover Defender got, and the Defender is the fastest uh, off-road SUV car, if you like. So yeah, they're they're half decent tires. I did install them. Yeah. Uh this may have some of the parts bought. I did mess about maxi. I think I tried to turn one of these into a jelly car at one point. Uh, yes, I have reset all of the, 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 the settings and so on. As far as handling goes, well, brakes are our only option. So yes, we will <laughs> We will have the zip brakes on the car. There's no option for weight reduction, which is a concern because, well, this car has restrictors on it. I didn't know this. This car weighs a lot. We're talking 4,300 pounds. There is a fair amount of torque, 460, and by the time we're finished with it, a fair amount of power, sure. That's a lot of weight that we can't get out of the car. I'm also surprised how much the restrictors reduce the weight, but okay. Um, now, the one choice that we do have, engine, we can... I uh, could aspiration swap it as well with the standard engine. We could go for the uh, the 5.8 litre V8. I believe this is the Mustang, the Shelby Mustang's engine. Now I'm kind of tempted by this. However, it is heavier than the <laughs> than the car's normal engine. So I think we're going to stick with the standard the standard engine. Now I'm not 100% sure we will get this to the top of S1 class with the standard engine. I know the, the other V8, you can get like a 1,000 horsepower, you can easily get it up into S2. But I don't know, I've never built one with the standard engine, so not entirely, or if I have, I can't remember it, not entirely sure. Uh, I think we probably can, actually. We'll get the restrictors off, uh, definitely. Uh, now, the rest of it, we are going to try... Oh, we can't get exhaust. We can't take off the load of power, uh, load of weight, sorry, that way. We can do pistons, but uh, nothing, nothing takes off weight quite like the exhaust for, for engine parts. Uh, turbos, how much power are we going to be looking at? Okay, we're going to be looking at quite a lot of horsepower from this, which is a good bloody thing because it's not exactly going to be a lightweight 644 torque uh, if we go maximum turbos, which I think we're probably going to uh, have to because I suspect these are not going to add very much on. Yeah, this is actually going to be quite an awkward car to build because we don't have like little parts like driveline to work with to, to make up little PI, PI gains and so on. If we stick on uh, no, camshafts, what can we get out of these? Oh, we can get it. We can get full on uh, up there. Are any of the other parts here going to what might work, actually? I don't think any of these are the air. The, the filter will give us a tiny bit of weight reduction, but it's only five pounds and in a car this heavy. That's not going to make any bloody difference. So I'm going to go full camshaft as well as full turbos we may just sneak that on aha we do so we can get three horsepower it is no less weight but it is three more horsepower or we can get a flywheel on that is three pounds off uh three horsepower or minus three pounds bugger i'm going for the power because uh, i think it will have torque as well won't it so it's power and torque yeah okay that'll do for me then uh <laughs> Yeah, not a huge of options. Not a huge amount of options. Sorry, for that was terrible English for the Ford Ranger. But it is the top of S1 class with the standard engine, and uh, this is a little lighter of the two engine choices. Lots of torque, 683. A decent amount of power, 662. But that weight, that is a lot of weight. Um, 
in a, in a vehicle for the course we are going to be tackling. Fingers crossed it might be okay. There's no option for aero parts and so on either. So, yeah, this could struggle. This could struggle. It does have some big tyres, some beefy tyres. I... I would be mm, I'd be surprised, honestly, if this goes into the one minutes. I think we're going to be looking at a one minute one for this. The Ram Runner was a one minute 1.6. The Cadillac Escalade that didn't even get to the top of S1 class was a one minute 1.1. I think we're going to have the Escalade, really, as uh, as this vehicle's target. Anyway, we shall go to the, uh, the Forest Brawl Circuit, where I have got five laps to get the Ford around as quickly as possible. Of course, I could be completely wrong with these expectations. This could be very, very fast. As I said, same size tyres as the Defenders. That was a 1 minute point 0.1. Uh, the McCann is also up there, uh, relatively fast. SUV, 1 minute point 0.3. And the Porsche Cayenne, 1 minute point 0.4. Uh, we could maybe see it. I think it's too heavy. I think this is just going to be too heavy to, uh, to, to race around here. Yes, there is the power and the torque, but that's a lot of weight to be uh, to be shifting around. It's going to struggle straight line. Whoa, the lean! Dear God! The <laughs> we, we suddenly ended up in a boat. That was amazing. I mean <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Uh, it's worse. I think it's almost as bad as the stadium super truck. For, for, oh, good God. The <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the sort of suspension that could be the only the only ones that should survive these size jumps. The fact is, though, on Horizon, whoa, that's not the case. That's not how things work. So having such soft suspension as we get with this is, uh, yeah, problematic, shall we say. Uh, we are doing quite well speed-wise. I will give it that. Oh, no, we're never going to like that corner. Okay. Uh, this is a bit of a different thing to drive than, well, just about everything I've driven recently anyway. Whoa, there's no rear grip. <laughs> Absolutely none of it whatsoever. That's always fun to be dealing with. How do we fly across the jump, though? We should be pretty good. Uh, we go a little bit nose down. But, uh, yeah, we should be able to deal with that fine. Straight line speed. I was expecting us to be struggling with straight line speed. Actually, quicker than I thought. 135. We're not stopping. We're not stopping. No brakes at all. Okay, it can do 135 if you brake at the same point as the other cars have. Problem is it doesn't stop them because it is so much heavier than everything else. That uh, it's probably what a thousand pounds heavier than, than most of the vehicles that that have gone around here. So uh, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> hmm, that's something to uh, to think about. Yeah, we've got to really make sure we uh, we get it stopped. I mean, uh, it's sort of uh, kind of a little bit a uh, little bit out of uh, out of control through that corner there. There was some speed to uh, to be had. This is not an easy car to, to race around here. Again, we're bouncing on the bumps and very sideways from the uh, from the Ford. Uh, I was expecting a little bit better from this, I have to say. Uh, admittedly, you know, the brakes is perhaps not too surprising. I was expecting it to be a little bit nicer to, to drive, really, than, uh, than it actually is. Oh, the jump there is humongous. It gets so much air time, despite not being massively fast really does fly through the air quite a lot. So we've got to break really early into this first corner. Uh, even then, it was only a just about getting stopped. <laughs> it's seven. Yeah, I think we could we could be struggling with speed as we run out and brush the wall. I can't carry that much corner speed because the back end wants to constantly come round. And then there's just all of the leaning through the corners. God, oh dear, it's terrifying. Uh, <laughs> around here. It really is. Oh, and I can't take any speed whatsoever through there. If I try and take it quick through the corner before the jump, you end up in all the wrong position for the uh, for the next corner. So we have to be careful. I'm just avoiding the bumps down there because I fear if I take them, uh, it's starting to tip it sideways again. We see many cars be holding 100, 100, well, up to about 107 miles an hour through that corner. This I just can't do it. If I try, <laughs> if I try and take that much speed through there, we will we will be spinning out. Uh, we do. I'm really impressed with the acceleration from this. Oh, I may have tried something and it didn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie, that's not what you want to be doing across across the jump. 1 minute 2.8, that was a bit better. We've got a couple of laps now to try and get it quicker. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Into turn 1, try and get on the path. This doesn't feel like it has 305. Like the, Land the Land Rover Defender did really well with uh, with these tyres. It's nice to drive, but this just doesn't have any grip, it feels like. It's just too heavy. <laughs> it's just far, 
far too heavy uh, around here. Now, can I position myself better? We don't quite get... Uh, I mean, we do get a little bit of a bounce on the landing. There's 91 through there, a bit smoother uh, this time around. We do get a little bit of bouncing back up into the air on the landings. It's not too bad, certainly, for an SUV. Having to take a really wide line through there. 100 miles an hour is scary. I don't want to really go that much faster through there. And I had to end up slowing it down because the back end was, well, wiggling. Uh, basically, just the amount this, this vehicle tips around as you go on power is uh, incredible. Ooh, okay, that's an interesting, interesting flight path from... <laughs> I just don't know what this is going to do from one lap to the other. 1 minute 2.5. Can we go any quicker on this, our final lap? Honestly, I'm not sure we can. You've got to be so careful through these through these turns. It really gently does it down here. I just can't carry any speed. We've seen speeds of about 100 miles an hour through this turn. We're 15 miles an hour down on some of the cars through there. And then we've really got to slow it down. Because we want to get it across to the right. Not too much, but we want to make sure... We're positioned well for this next turn. It is a bit better this time around. 94 miles an hour through that uh, through that corner. It does do a little bit better down here. We don't have too many problems coming uh, down this part of the course. Or oh, the back end wanted to get away there. That's, uh, that's again about 100 miles an hour is all I can <laughs> all I can get away with through there. Take the, the final corner nice and tight. Try and use some of that some of that torque, some of that power. Get it out of the last turn. Up towards the big jump one more time. What interesting flight there. <laughs> Who knows what this thing is doing when it, uh, when it goes through the air. It has crossed the line. One minute 2.0 from the Ford Ranger. That is a handful and a half to, uh, to drive. The suspension. Dear God, the amount of leaning we get through the corners. There is just... There is none of the grip really either through them. Uh... Yeah, I actually expected it to perhaps be a little bit faster than that. It's just, I just can't take any corner speed with it. The straight line speed and actual acceleration for the weight of this car is really impressive. 130, I think it was 134, 136 down to that first turn. But of course, we can't get stopped either because the, the thing's so heavy and the brakes aren't quite uh, quite up quite up there. Um, yeah, I mean a one minute a one minute two point zero. It puts it into forty sixth place. It goes fractionally quicker than a Ford Transit. It's quicker than the Shelby Raptor. Uh, a little bit behind the Lamborghini LM002, the Mitsubishi Galant. It's it's a difficult car to drive. This one, while yes, the Rally Raid truck can survive the bumps and the jumps and so on. Is just not got the cornering grip. It's, it's too heavy, the brakes don't really get it stopped into a couple of places, and there is nowhere near uh, the cornering grip. An interesting and scary challenge to drive, though. I, uh, I will say that much about the, uh, the Ford. Anyway, that is it uh, for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.